I'm sorry. I fell asleep. So you were out here listening to me cry? Well, when you say it like that, it sounds less like a concerned friend and more like a... Stalker. I should go. No, no, please don't. Are you sure? Because I'm your boss, and I say this against my better judgment, this would make a spectacular lawsuit. I was dreading spending the night in this apartment by myself, but I got through it. And maybe that's because I wasn't alone. About being home? Mm -hmm. Better than I expected. Every moment I spent here after the funeral just felt like losing Nathan over and over again. I'm sorry. I wish I could make this easier for you. You already have. Thanks to you, I, I'm back home where I, I didn't want to be. And I managed to get a whole night's sleep, which I never thought I would get. So what you're telling me is that I put you to sleep? Yes, that is your gift. Do you feel special? Isn't there a super villain with that power or something? Oh, you're asking the wrong person about that. Spinelli is the nerdopedia where that stuff is concerned. You know, right now I'm actually feeling brave enough to spend another night in this apartment without you on the sofa. I think you're being too hard on yourself. A week ago, you couldn't even bring yourself to walk into this apartment. All you could do was get the mail out front. But you just spent an entire night here. Yeah, I guess I did do that. Maxie, that's brave. <sighs> Every single day you wake up and you're coming face to face with all that you've lost. Getting out of bed isn't the Olympics. But you're not just getting out of bed. You're going to work and you're doing your job. And not just any job, a job that affects what over a million people a month are going to see. And you always make it substantial and beautiful. I don't exactly do that alone. But you do it. And now you've come back to your home to make it beautiful for your daughter. I guess what I'm trying to say, Maxie, is in the face of tremendous loss, you wake up every day and you get through the day in spite of it all. You're a hero, Maxie. Go home, take a shower, change your clothes. That way we don't start any horrible office rumors. All right, if I do that, will you promise me something? I think you have to do that anyway. All right, even still. Be kind to yourself, Maxie. Um, things are gonna be tough enough as it is. I know. The only way out is through Robert Frost. Oh, I'm impressed. Don't be. I thought it was Churchill until Spinelli corrected me. <gasps> oh! Who's that knocking on my door? <laughs> Georgie! I'm so happy to see you. I missed you so much. I miss you too, Mom. <laughs> I need to get going. Spinelli, nice to see you again. Mm. Wait, um, before you go, Georgie, this is Mommy's friend, Mr. August. Hi, Georgie. It's so nice to finally meet you. Your Mommy's told me so many nice things about you. Mommy, we came to make you feel better. Oh, and it's already working. Daddy said you were sad because Nathan went away. Uh, Georgie, uh, Mommy might not want to talk about that right now. No, it's okay, sweetheart. We can talk about Nathan. We loved him so much, didn't we? Yeah. And I miss him a lot. But that's the funny thing about feelings. You can have so many of them at one time. Like, even though I'm sad that Nathan is gone, I am still so, so, so happy to see you.